Hello, welcome back to ModX Tutorials. This is part three. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some templating basics and how to set up your ModX template in an easy way to manage, as well as setting up some critical SEO parts. So let's see what we did last time. Uh, we set up a website. I have called mine my site. It was in a subfolder under modxtutorials.com. And we got a ModX system with one page, the home page and a very, very basic template. And we had actually no content, and there's nothing here. So we're gonna change that right now. All right, uh, firstly, what you need is open your folder. It was on the desktop last time. Um, and go to Assets, and create a folder called Templates. And in this folder, you can create a template. I'm gonna call it My Template, which you can call it whatever you want, of course. Okay, and in this folder, um, I'm going to create a file. I'm going to open uh, Notepad++, which you can use any code editor you want. I'm going to go to my Modix Revolution, click on Elements, and near Template. And copy all of this code, and copy it in the file. I'm going to make it a little bit better. So, that looks a little bit better already. Okay, I'm going to save this in my file, my site, assets, templates, my template, and I'm going to call this mainpage.html. That's my name. I can close it. So we have main, oh, pain page. <laughs> main, mainpage.html. Okay, if I open it, you can see it here. But as you can see, this is hardly uh, a good template. There's no information here, this wouldn't work. So I got already pre-saved a nice header, a ModX header. And as you can see, this looks a lot different. Um, let me explain what it all is. Uh, it's, it's HTML5, first of all. So this is a really clean, modern way of coding. And because it's HTML5, you need this part. Uh, this is a script from Google, Google Code. And this makes sure that HTML5 code works in Internet Explorer. Uh, Internet Explorer, our best friend for web designers. Um, well, you just simply need this, otherwise the EA uh, HTML5 won't work. So that's needed. I also added three style sheets. Um, I like to work with a reset CSS file. This just makes sure that all the styles are like basic. So you, you, you start designing your website with, yeah, it's, you could say a clean canvas. Everything is nice and neat. And there are no strange borders or, or lines or padding or whatever. Um, this will be our main style sheet of course, style.css. And I also like to add a print CSS. So if somebody prints your page, you can add you can remove any colors or images or borders and uh, it will be a nice printed page. And if you know HTML you will see some strange code here. And this one for instance, because normally you would just type in the page title here. But this is modX, so this is a little bit more easy. Um, this does what it says. It gets the site name. So if you change the name of the site on the back end, any template that uses this header will have a different name there. And this will add a line and then it will say the title of the page. So that's really good. Really, really nice. Um, same for meta information. It gets this from the back end and the site URL as a base href. So that's also really nice. I've repeated the page title here within h1 tags on every page, so we have a nice title. And this is Wayfinder. Wayfinder is uh, um, a snippet which will include a navigation for you on your page. But I'll explain that later. I'll just add it already in my header. So I'm going to copy this code. Um, and I'm going to, in ModX Revolution, I'm going to go to, to uh, um, no, actually not in Modic Revolution, sorry. I'm going to save this file simply. Save in my site, assets, templates, my template, and I'm going to save it as header.html. So that's the header. I can close this now. I have a footer as well. So open in Notepad. This is the footer. Well, there's no explanation needed. I added some content just to show if it's there. And this is just some basic markup. I'm going to save this as well, save as 
my site assets template my template footer.html and here's our header. Okay. But now this is if this is our content, um, we actually don't need this because this code is in the header. And this code is in the footer. So this is like a really clean basic template right now. But how do I get the code here? Well, to do that, we're going to include some code uh, with PHP. Um, I'm going to open this file. This is called an include template. Um, and this works really well in Modix. And this is the code we need to get the code in our template. So if I add this here, you can see it's a, it calls this function, mm -hmm. include template. And then it calls my template dash header.html. So if I copy this one, and put it in the foot in the bottom and change the header to footer. It should call the two files I save there. And in the center, I want to include the content of my web page. So save this one. Um, but to have this working, we need a snippet in Modic. So let's copy this title, include template. And um, I'll create a snippet, right click on it, new snippet, and paste the title in. And next paste all this code and just paste it in the content area and save. All right, if we now go to our FTP and to our online, this is our online space and this is our local space. As you can see in assets, I've created a template file. I can just copy it online. And in here, you see our files, my template, footer, header, main page. So that's really perfect. Um, so I'm going to go back again. If we now clear our cache on the site, clear cache, press OK. And if we now refresh the page, we should see some changes. Um, and now we don't. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I still have to change our template. Go to Elements and select our base template because we still use our boring empty template but instead we should use this code. It's very clean, main page, content, and the footer. So copy it, and paste this in, and save it. If you change the template, you have to clear your cache. So do that again, clear the cache. And now we should see a difference. As you can see, we have a title in H1 tags, we have some main content, and we have the footer content. And in here you can see there's a title and the page name is displayed on top. So that's perfect. Uh, that's the first steps in our template. But there's still some things we haven't had. If I open these, uh, my site, assets, templates, my template, and if I open the header, um, I told you about the reset CSS. It's not there yet, so let's create that. Um, in our template, I'm going to create a file called CSS and in here I'm going to copy uh, the reset CSS file. I already made that one. I can actually remove these files, I already used them. Um, and I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm going to call this print.css. Uh, the file disappeared, of course, because I deleted it. And now it will give an error. Okay, I'm going to remove all this code and leave the print CSS empty for now. So we have an empty CSS, print CSS, and this reset CSS. I'll just show it to you. This is mine. I like it a lot. It's Eric Meyer CSS. It just gives a lot of code to all elements on the page. So the background is transparent. There's no border. It resets some styles. So this is like useful. It gives a clean template to your website. Okay, so that takes care of these two, the print CSS and the reset CSS. And now we need a style CSS. Uh, in my template, and I'm going to open a new one here. And I'm just going to add one line just to check if it works. We have our title in H H1 tags. So I'm going to add H1. And I'm going to say color red. It's not very pretty, but it will work. Save as, and I'm going to save it in our root of our, my, our template folder. I'm going to call it style.css. And that's our CSS file. I'm going to put it here. 
Um, okay, so if we now copy all these contents online, override, we click refresh, as you can see our header is h1, it's small again, that's because of the reset CSS, it just resets everything to a basic, and it works, so that's nice. Um, the next step is going to be pretty URLs. If we um, let's first create another page, just right-click on the home page, um, duplicate resource, and let's say this is called um, portfolio. Let's call it make a portfolio page. And if we now click on the portfolio, um, we can give it a long title. Uh, see our work. It might be a nice long title, and the description is this is the portfolio page. The alias is portfolio, um, and the menu title will be portfolio, of course. You can leave this blank; it will take the title. But I like to fill all the fields. This will be our second page in our menu, and this is like the portfolio content, just to show where we are. Okay, we have another page. Save. If we preview this page, right-click on it and click on View Resource. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Preview <laughs> Resource. You'll see that the page works, but there's a problem. I really don't like it. It, is. it says index.php id3. What's that about? Well, um, this is the page, the real URL for the page. As you can see here, it has a number 3 behind it. So Modic sees this as the location. But I want it to say portfolio in the URL. I don't want it to say index.php because Google doesn't understand that. It's the portfolio page. And to get this done, we need to do some complicated stuff. Um, you go to System, System Settings. And if you click on Filter by Area, you can drop down and you see here Friendly URL. That's the thing where we want. We want a nice friendly URL. Um, scroll down a bit, and you will see here use friendly URLs. You, it's set on no. If we do yes, and we save, we can clear the cache again. And if we refresh, and refresh here, it doesn't work. And there's a problem. It's very basic. Go to our file. Uh, our root file, so not templates, but in um, my site, you see here an ht.access file. I'm going to open this in the notepad, and then I'm going to save it again, but not as ht.access, but as .htaccess. So change the place of the dot, and then save. And then you can close it. Okay, now we have two files. The ht dot access and the dot ht access. Now we go to our FTP, go to our root, and online you can remove the ht dot access file. And you can copy in the dot ht access. Keep the other one just to be safe. So copy the dot ht access file. Um, if you go back to your folder you know, on the desktop, your my site, there's also a manager. And if you open here, you find another ht.access file. Open this one as well in Notepad and save it as .htaccess and close it. And if we refresh online, you go to Manager and you see the new file. Remove the old one and copy the .htaccess file. And now if we refresh if we preview the page, it doesn't work yet. Maybe clear the cache. There's still a problem, and that is because my page is not on the root side. This is a subfolder, my site is a subfolder of molextutorials.com, which I'm working on at the moment. Um, so I have to change the redirect a little bit. 
what I will need to do is assign my um, my subfile folder, so my site, to the ht.access file. So if I go to my site, the root, not in the manager, but in the root, open the .htaccess file, edit with notepad, you see here a rewrite base. I'm going to have to add this here, my site, because I installed the page on my site here. If you have anything else, page for a uh, different title, or if you installed it on the root of your site, then you don't need to add it. But if you add it in a subfolder, then you will need to add that path there. So I'm going to add it there, save it. Now I'm going to um, go to roots again, overwrite the file. Now I'm going to clear the cache. And if I'm correct, now it should work. Preview resource, and as you can see, I'm on the portfolio page. And in the URL, it says my site dash portfolio HTML. And that's exactly what we want. So that's perfect. We got friendly URLs. That's good. But next, how do I go to the other page? We don't have any navigation. Um, if you remember, in our file, our header, we put something called Wayfinder. Let's install that. That's snippet. To do so, you go to the manager, system, package management, and click on add a new package. And you have to select the provider, click on modxcms.com, click next. As you can see, Wayfinder is the second most popular, so that's really common. Um, let's, uh, go to, uh, let's just search for it, that's actually better. Wayfinder, search, and here you can download it. Wait a little bit for the download. All right. Finish, and as you can see here, you see now Wayfinder. Let's install it. Agree. Next. Next. Console is running, and it's installed. Let's refresh and see what happened, because we already added the code for Wayfinder on our site. I'm going to refresh, and as you can see, we have a navigation. It's that simple. Uh, what it did, it created an unordered list, as you can see here, and list items. And there's something really brilliant about Wayfinder, because the first one, as you can see, already has a class of first and active. That means we're currently on the page. And the last item, which is at the moment the second item, has a class of last, and if you click on it, it has a class of active. So that's a really nice navigation. If you want to style it with CSS, this is really, really easy. Okay, so that's uh, it for now. We have created a web page with nice titles, automatic Motix titles. We have a pretty or friendly URL. We have navigation. We have link to a CSS file with which we can change the, the site. We have a reset CSS. We have a print CSS. And we have two web pages and the navigation works. Thank you for watching. The next time we will continue creating our Motix Revolution website. See you soon.